There are more than 10 million species of plant and animals alive today. And yet, they are just 1% of all species that have ever existed. By traveling back in time, we'll meet many of the 99% that have gone extinct. Welcome back to Late Night. We're here with Morgan Freeman, everybody. That was a clip from life on our planet. This shows us. Show. It's a wonderful show. It makes you appreciate being alive when you see how this uh, world of ours has developed over billions of years. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And if we're not careful, it does. Uh, you know, sort of is a nice thing to watch where you realize that you know climate change could take this all away from us. Yeah. And, uh, is that something when you get involved with a project like this? Do you enjoy that it's not just the wonder of the world? But oh, also, abs uh, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Is that um, uh, we, we're in such a here in terms of our existence on this planet. Let's not think that we're here to stay just because. As if you can see, if 99% of all life that has ever lived is gone, and only 1% is left, we have to think about that. It's like, well, this planet does things. Yeah. <laughs> you know? It's like, and there's no place to go. That's true. Absolutely no place to go. So we better be careful. <laughs> that's a good. That's a good warning. Yeah. I, you know, in the clip, it showed, uh, you know, dinosaurs, prehistoric life, and and you have to do a narration about that. And I'm wondering. I thought I knew how to say all the dinosaurs' names, but then I have kids and they have their dinosaur books, and I realize I I only know sort of the top three. Yeah, me too. <laughs> And then they get pretty tricky. They is that something? Tricky. Do you get a? Do you get? Did, I mean, I'm assuming you get a bunch of takes. But are you good with those words you've never seen before? Uh, let me not brag about what I shouldn't be trying to brag about. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you are. You are a humble man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and you were also. You were talking back. Uh, we were talking backstage. Uh, you live in the country now. You live uh, uh, on the Gulf Coast. Yes. Uh, well, it's not. The country. Yeah, ah. I, I didn't mean it uh, uh, to be rude. So, well. You have no. stores and stuff? <laughs> Restaurants. Restaurants? Yeah. Oh, okay. I was thinking of a different thing. Yeah. <laughs> right. But I have a home in Mississippi also. Gotcha. Um, pretty much where I, I grew up in Mississippi, raised there. And so I lived there. But uh, it's just a farm. And it's. That's the country. That's that the country. We don't... When did it dawn on you? Did you think through your whole life that at one point you would find your way back there? Or was it as you, as you got older you thought, oh, you know what, I like that? No, it was not until about 1983. Mm -hmm. uh, my parents had moved back. And I started visiting them on maybe once a year or so. And every time I went, I went there, I was like, oh, this is so relaxing. This is so nice. This is so by 1989 or 90, and we decided, yeah, we'll build here. So Are people yeah. happy to see you back home in Mississippi? Always. Yeah, I would hope yeah. so. Yeah. I like the stores and the restaurants. <laughs> what is that? SIP? What's that's that? the SIP. What's the SIP? That's. Oh, that's, that's Mississippi. Yeah, Mississippi. yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> now, I just want you to know, I would never have the confidence to say to you, how's the sip? Is it good? <laughs> Are things in the sip good? But now I'm going to, now next time you come here, I'm going to say it. Okay. All right. Now we're moving right along. All right, I'm glad. Yeah. You, uh, you moving also. Moving all the way into the 20th century. Here we go. Yeah. Um, it's certainly easier to spell. Um, I want to ask about another uh, documentary uh, you produced about, yeah. uh, it's a, it, what was it called? The 761st? It was, the, yeah, the 761st Tank Battalion. Uh, the Black Panthers. This was the first armored battalion, black, uh, to be engaged in the war, World War II. Um, Patton. And, uh, and did you know uh, much about them? I know you served uh, no. in the Air Force. Was this something you'd ever heard about? No. They had, uh, a guy came to us. I, I have a, 
uh, a, a company. You know, we make movies. We produce stuff. We produce stuff, you know, it's yeah. Revelations Entertainment. And the guy came to us with this project. There was a script about the 761st Tank Battalion. I did not know anything about that. So, of course, you can Google it and find out everything you need to know. <laughs> um, um, so then, I don't know, but this goes back to 20, 25 years, maybe. Okay. That we've had this project. So it's like, nothing good comes easy. And uh, then, I don't know, as things develop, we were able to make a uh, very, very nice documentary about them. But I want to make a series to get them out into. Yeah. Sort of a band of brothers situation, right? Exactly. Let's don't. All right. Exactly well, exactly what I want to do. I think that's a very safe pair of hands. I hope you can get that for us all to see. There's a wonderful book about it as well, uh, called uh, "Come Out Fighting." Um, I'm assuming right. this is uh, one of the. Yeah, well, we use that. That's part of our back our, our research. There you go. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, it's just a, a joy to have you back. Thank it's you so much. What a pleasure. Talk Morgan Freeman, everybody. Life on our planet is streaming now on Netflix. We'll be right back with McKay Coppins.